Who is Donald Trump? I had the high honor of working for the 45th President of the United States as strategist and deputy assistant to President Donald J. Trump. Who is the man? What do you need to know about him? So much rubbish has been written about this man and he's had to put up with the kind of smears that would have made lesser men hide under a rock somewhere. So let me share with you my experience because I've worked for him during the campaign, I advised him. Then I had the high honor of coming into the White House and I'm still in touch with him. So what's the truth about this real estate mogul and reality TV star from Queens? Number one, if you've ever watched him on a TV show or give a stump speech or addressing Congress, guess what? You know Donald Trump. That's him. That's who he is. What you see is what you get. Whether it's in front of a crowd of 60,000 people or in front of millions of viewers on a TV screen or whether it's just you and him in the Oval Office, that's exactly who he is. There's no filter. There's no different version in a city like D.C where I live, full of individuals who have a public face that's all polished, that classic DC smile, that grimace that they don't mean. Those people behave differently behind closed doors. This man doesn't. He's exactly as he is in private, as he is in public. Secondly, this man is on a mission. What's his mission? To take what he did in the private sector, which is to create excellence, and to transpose it into government, into the national federal agenda of the Make America Great Again platform. The most amazing thing about Donald J. Trump is that he doesn't care whether you voted for him or not. He doesn't care whether you voted for Hillary, whether you wanted Bernie to win, or whether you didn't vote at all. He wants two things for you. He wants you and your family and your loved ones to be safe, and he wants you to prosper. That's why one of the first things he's done is take the fight against jihadism to ISIS, crushing it in a matter of months compared to the Obama administration's promises that this conflict would last for generations. And secondly, he's unleashed the national economy, not because the government makes jobs or makes people wealthy, but because he's torn down the restrictions against small and large businesses. When we came into the White House, we had a very simple rule. After the eight years of incredible burdens under Obama, for every new administrative action the president signed, two would have to be rescinded. So we'd cut in half the government stranglehold over the nation and its economy. Well, guess what that number is? The promise was one to two. It is now more than one to 22. For every new regulation the president has penned, more than 20 have been rescinded. And that's why we see billions of dollars coming back into the country, growth rates we never saw under Obama, more than two million jobs created. That's the power of unburdening the American people in free enterprise. So, it's just year one. There's seven more years to go. It's going to be an exciting ride, not just for America, but for our friends. Because America first does not mean America alone. God bless. Thanks for watching. If you want to see the rest of my videos, please subscribe to the Rebel Media YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Seb Gorka. That's S-E-B-G-O-R-K-A. And if you like this video, please share it on Facebook and Twitter because the fake news industrial complex has been lying for far too long. And with your help, we can get the truth out.